everyone, welcome back to Anomaly 2. Um, this is the first mission. I'm going to the prologue. It is now 2034, the convoy Yukon is on the move. Civilians search for the frozen wasteland for supplies. Soldiers continue their training for you, Lieutenant Lynx. There is a new weapon to master, the combat suit. We are survivors of the war. Banded together in huge convoys, we search the frozen tundra for food and supplies. My convoy is called Yukon. I started training with a simulator to get the hang of the combat suit, the greatest military toy since gunpowder. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, 4,213 miles north of the anomaly. Cool. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, this is Colonel Ellen Bolt, commander of Convoy Yukon. I'll be the one who's training you. I need you to be in full command of the Special Mission Unit. Let's get started, Lynx. This is your tactical map. On it, and only on it, you can choose your squad's path. You start here, near the three training towers. You can change your squad's route on each crossroad. To do that, just click on an arrow until it turns the way you need. Now, plan a route that leads you to the safe zone. There are two ways to plan a route for your squad in tactical view. Yeah. Left-click arrows on crossroads to change the path for the squad. Left-click an empty crossroad to set a path to it. Yeah, it's that's great. Anyway, that's what I was doing. Good. The simulation starts now. These are the Assault Hounds, the pride of the convoy. This is actually kind of cool, I have to admit. Assault Hounds start with a slow fire rate and minor damage capability. But if they keep firing, their rate of fire increases. To inflict more damage, keep your squad firing. displays its firepower. This is a tech analysis of the vehicle. The Assault Hound has considerable firepower and good range. Its rate of fire increases when firing and reaches maximum power after 12 seconds. Its cannons cool down quickly though, so you should constantly keep enemies in its path. The unit's rate of fire should be considered high. Cool. Keep alert. The situation changed. Now the towers are hiding between buildings on both sides of the road. I strongly suggest you morph your squad into hellhounds. Yeah, I, I, I can do that. This is a Hellhound, designed for urban warfare. It's equipped with two independent flamethrowers. There you have it. 
Hellhounds are effective in close quarters combat. Designed for urban warfare, the Hellhound okay. is heavily armored and equipped with two independent flamethrowers with a high rate of fire. The flamethrowers can set towers on fire and give additional damage as they burn. Flamethrowers get more effective over time and warm up quickly. Okay. The tremors. We're catching some heat out here in the real world, but we got it covered. Focus on your training. You know, I don't mind doing this in the real You're world. You're coming up to a fork in the road. Which route the squad takes is all up to you. You can change your squad's path now. Remember, you can morph your units into different forms whenever you need to. Although you may want to destroy all the towers, it's not always necessary for the success of your mission. These are these are very 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 good. So I can't actually buy any. I can't buy anything. Oh well. this one well no what is it first currency exchange cesarium it's a rare element not of this world okay use it to buy new units or upgrade existing ones learn how to collect it and learn how to use it yeah I already know about this from like the last game received a distress signal coming from New York. The signal was sent by Dr. Xander, the scientist in possession of Project Shockwave. Yukon's on a direct route to the Big Apple, and I'm still in the simulator. There's no saying how much time is left for training. First Lieutenant Simon Lakes, 3,827 miles north of the anomaly. This is Karasara. It's a rare element that we use to buy and upgrade combat units. Yeah. Karu 
Sarum is our main resource for producing and upgrading units. You can discover it on the ground over here. It's in your best interest yeah. to pick up as much Karasarum as you can. To do that, you need to set up your squad first. Purchase two Assault Hound units. So I don't have a choice I have to go with the Assault Hounds. Bear in mind, you can always gain Karasarum by selling units. All right, let's do this. Now advance. One more thing, Lieutenant. Here's how you change formation. Good. Begin collecting Karosarum. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Don't worry, you get yours. Okay. Okay, we go around again. I'm, I'm trying to get the brutal one, by the way. But in order to get brutal, you have to go around and kill all the turrets and stuff. So you know, there's that. Probably should have gone the other way, but it didn't matter, I guess. That's right. Um, don't have enough to Really, guys, if you need me to come outside and fight, we I... just got through a firefight. Enemy was neutralized, but the simulator got banged up. It's still online, so let's keep going. Really, I don't, I don't mind. You can use Karasarum to improve your unit's armor, firepower, and more. Try it now. Oh. Um, I, to, be, I, to be honest, I'd rather get, get another younger unit, like one of these Hellhounds or whatever these things are. Um, they have better armor, better attack, and better range. Well, they don't have as good a range, I guess. So they're probably, well, regardless.
Now head for the exit, Link. Now you know how to secure time is running out and New York. But you get gold for ruthlessness and stuff, but you don't get any for swiftness, so it's like one of those things where it's like, yeah, do one or the other. Currency exchange. Big, bad, and ugly. The machine's arsenal c contains many lethal weapons you have to be wary of. The final part of your training brings you face to face with one of their deadliest towers, the Beemuth. Sure, why not? Let's see. Combat suits like a second skin to me now, but I still have some time to hone my skills in the safety of the simulator. Outside, the never-ending winter pounds us harder than ever. The machines hoped it would kill us off, but we refuse to die. Every day brings us closer to New York, to Xander, to Project Shockwave, to our revenge. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, 3,592 miles north of the anomaly. I save the toughest part of your training for last. To get to the safe zone, you'll have to break through the towers called Behemoths. The Behemoth is a slow, heavily armored tower that wreaks havoc across a wide area. Basically, your worst nightmare. Here's important data on the enemy machine. This heavily armored tower attacks with powerful shock pulses that can damage several units within a certain range. The behemoth's only weakness is its sluggishness. Wow. They're a bit more armored this time around, too. There's a trick that could save your skin when you run into the behemoth. We'll get to that later. Now, configure your squad. Can I get one of these hellhounds you keep on re 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 hearing about? Yep, we're gonna do that way. 
they're going to this way. Good. Let's get cracking. Oh, hey, how you doing there? Are you coming around right here to talk, chat with me? Oh, I know you are. Come over here. Let's just chat. Let's just chat. Let's, let's, let's the just... trick I told Dude. you about before is called the decoy. It draws enemy fire to itself. Decoy ability is online. Now use it on the behemoth. Remember to deploy it as far as you can from the troops. When that behemoth lets loose its shockwave, you don't want to be close to it. Not bad. Now attack. Oh, hey, how you doing there? Come over here. Show this decoy. Here's the tech analysis on the decoy. The decoy ability draws fire from towers within a certain range. It will continue until it discharges or is destroyed. Yeah, it's nice. I'm going for brutal again in case you couldn't figure it out. right now. Oh, only 65, that's right. There you go. to next. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Guys, seriously. Focus on your training. If you need me to come out, I can actually do it. I don't mind, at in the slightest.
Okay, we need to go this way. Now let's go this way. Oh, the round to get her on. Uh, I should, uh, yeah, I should. We'll, we'll do it that way. Oh, fuck, no. Need to go down this way, I believe. All around here, and then we'll just play ring around the, the beamos. Those are like all hidden behind. No, I'm going this way first. See, so yeah, that's fine. That's fine. The end of your training is coming up. Keep moving. Yeah, the AR is overrated. 